So all right guys, welcome back to Sea Life Fishing Guernsey. It's currently half past four in the morning and we're going boat fishing for bass, pollock and mackerel. Hope you'll be able to find a few. The place where we're going is the place we went in the last video. Apparently it's absolutely teamed with mackerel and bass. So hopefully we can do a job up there. So we'll be heading up there shortly. I'll show you some scenery on the way up there. If you could hit the like button, subscribe, share on all platforms, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, to really share the channel. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to hit 300 subs really, really soon. Channel is booming, so I can't uh, thank you enough for that. So yeah, let's get down to the boat. We'll catch you down there. See our fishing. Let's do this and get those bass. What a cracking morning this is. Wow. Can't be getting up at five o'clock in the morning, guys, for this. Absolutely beautiful, not a breath of wind. Just hope those fish are there. See our fish in Guernsey. So right, guys, the vessel we're going on this morning, Orkney Lass, fine boat. Hopefully she'll be filled up with fish after. Look at that, guys, look at the mother there. Just cruising around. Look at that. Wow. So there we are guys, we're on the vessel now. I'm just gonna run you through the rods we're gonna be using. So this will be probably manic when we go over there, we won't have time. So all we're going to be using is the Aubrey Garcia Venerate 2060 gram rod. <clears throat> We've got this Sienna 4000 size reel, hopefully cope with the uh, bass. And all we're going to be using is the uh, Sidewinder Green Eel to start with. So that's the first rod. And it's absolutely beautiful, what a morning this is going to be. And all we got in the second. We're using mackerel feathers, you see there. And then we've got the little uh, next generation bass rod, Abby Garcia, just with a cheap um, reel, a flattened reel. That's perfect for the mackerel. Just loaded like with 30 pound mono, this one is. And on the other one, we got 20 pound braid. So let's do this, let's get the fish. And see what size there's. Oh, and it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be five at least. Set. When you start shaking it out, I'd say that's. Get it to lock, it'll lock in a sec. I'll say that, I'll, I'll give it six, I reckon. That's a little bit too much movement there. Eh? Okay, good six pounds. Six pounds, yeah, that's a lovely fish. That size, yeah, for sure. Nice. Just going over the six, that's gonna be a nice feed. <laughs> Got one, I reckon. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know, it might be you some more nice jumped on. The yeah. Amazing, they just like come off a little bit. Yeah, Mackie. Yeah. Three. Look at that cracking size, look at the size of them. Oh, look at that three, Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> Can't huge. get away, him. Another one to wait. Because I reckon. That must be near about four of a pound. Oh, for sure, that's the size of that. 
<laughs> like a little tuna. Look at him. Look at that. <laughs> a few more like that. We're going to weigh him. But that, that's, that's well over a pound. Well over a pound. I don't know, I'm at that one one pound feet in the back. I reckon that's, got it. that's well over a pound. Any day. I think I think the uh, the weighing the weighing's gone not very up here. Oh, it's well over a pound. Definitely. Broken. Broken. That's that <laughs> oh no, she's working again. <laughs> That's an absolute clunker of a Mackie. It's got a mouth on it. <laughs> uh, that is like a little tuna. It's oh, it's not weighing. It's, it's, it's not, not working now. It's not itself, but I'd say that's, that's well over a pound. Well over a pound. Look at that. Looking at the size of that, compared to my hand, it's a massive. That's well over a pound. Yeah. That's quality. We've only been here, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, we've had, what, six pound pollock and a pound and a bit mackerel. And, uh, what else have? And the tide's not even here, yeah? And we've got a good, a good heap of mackerel already. <coughs> we know how to... Find the bass as well, I reckon. Ah, for sure. We can't. There's loads of boats up here as well. I've already also have three, five boats, six boats. The seagulls feeding over there. Flipping hell. Fish on. And there's well bass on. Very big one. Ah, still a bass. Oh, yeah, we're in. <laughs> Fish on. Well, you can't beat this, guys. Awesome. Look up. Fish everywhere. Down like a train as well. Still a fish, eh? Yeah. He's banging his head this one. This is a better <laughs> one, actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. Awesome. You can't beat this, eh? <laughs> He's alright. He would it'd be side, for sure. He's going to jump in the bloody boat. Well, he's 42 for sure. <laughs> Bass everywhere for that guy's over there's one. And there he's, he goes, he wanted to go. He's gone. <laughs> oh, there's paintfish everywhere. Look, the orange ones, there's more of them everywhere. Yeah, I'm unhooked. There you go, nice little bass over there. bigger. Chop this one back. Hopefully keep a couple after. Uh, amazing, it? everywhere, eh? Oh, oh nearest out of take then. Ah, great, you can't beat, eh? Four bass already. Four bass and about 20 casts. Small, though, but I don't care if they're small or not. Good fun. <coughs> That's the smallest one, but still, not bothered. There we go, another one. What fun. Fish on. Small again now, I think. Ah, straight away, hit the water, bang! Yeah, it's only a schoolie there. Good fun, you can't beat it, eh? No. Look at the seagulls there, guys. Absolutely crazy. Get him in quick place, bigger fish. He's got a train though, flipping out. Holding deep. We'll move up once you got that in. Another drift. He's holding nice. Ooh. He's alright. Not bad. What's it doing? Alright guys, another one. It's free down already. Awesome. Quality, nicely hooked as well. Beautiful. Wow. We're catching loads of bass, guys. We're going to give the surface there a go. See if we can get some action on the top. I reckon it'll work, I reckon. I reckon they'll come up. We'll give it a couple of casts and just see. The awesome they do, you get a big four or five pound coming behind, like. I don't know if a seagull's going for it, though. 
I won't be catching a bass, I'll be catching a seagull. <laughs> I reckon, you never know. It's calm enough for them. You're going to get smacked at that. I can't even see where the lower even is. Oh, yeah, there we are. <laughs> Boom! Uh, if this don't work, I might give the Suzuki guy the IMA loads of quality. Neil's in again. At least we got off that unlucky 13. And I nearly caught a seagull on the Panchika. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give the IMA Suzuki go, I think, just to see if the hard plastics have actually, if there's any difference kind of thing. The soft plastics work. So it's just just to see. Got a rattle at this as well. Yeah, I had a big tangle. With your own man's sake. Yeah. There's, there's fish. There's Everything. fish behind you then. Is it? Yeah, the, well, the where you just cast your air. Literally, as soon as you cast, it was, uh, it was there. I uh, see. A big one in all this. I reckon. I'm giving the uh, IMA Suzuki go. See if that makes. See if the hard plastics out fi uh, oh, can fish as well as the soft plastics. Just out of like, curiosity, to see. I don't think you can beat the soft plastic birds there. No, to be honest. Scary. You well, can't use oh, the, um, the actual scale, you can't beat it. I'm trying to get one to follow, not expensive either. Six for a pack, yeah, so this thing, the eye met they're cracking lures, it's got 20 quid for one lure. Mm. Oh, so, that's what for sure. Oh, you, lo you lose it, yeah, yeah. 20 I'll be quid. Going the next day and getting it in the low water. There's bloody three packs of scaries here, then you get nine lures for that. Bass of the day. How's he slaying them? He smashed it. It's only small. Yeah, that's the fish again, there, don't matter how small it is. Look at that. Let me see the They're nice and silvery. You'd think they'd be darker being on the reefs. Isn't all right. The candy king. Doing the job. Can't beat the scaries and the candy kings, really. No. Nice hook up. They've all been nice. Release. Yeah, good for it. He's going to be keen yeah. to go. Bang, go gone like a train. Get some of this one. Bass City. Bass on. I know there's another one. I can't. Oh, he's come off. Oh, we're in. <laughs> there's loads. Can't say there's, there's tons there. One came off and the other one jumped straight on. It's a nice fish, I think. It's not bad. This could be a keeper, I reckon. I reckon the fish are underneath him. That's yeah, definitely coming if he comes. That's a better fish for sure. I mean, that him, I reckon. That's it. Got him? Yeah, so on. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Cracking fish. Definitely coming. There's bass there, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh shit, no way. That's a fine fish, definitely coming out. Yeah, they were there, bang. Get them on hook. Guys, lovely bass. Probably about two and a half, three pound. Beautiful. One's coming on the uh, dinner plate. That came out of nowhere. Oh, good fish. They come out of nowhere, they small. They come out of absolutely nowhere, though. You went very far from the boat. Nah. Tiddler, smallest one in the bloody day. That's a hook in the end. They're still here, though. I reckon you could pull them out all day, I reckon. Can't beat them, though. Bang, go on. The old lure's getting a bit worse for wear as well. Six foot water. Oh, he's come off. Oh. Some of them are finicky. There's a lot of small fish in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, Neil was in. <laughs> We're into him again, guys. Another small one. Steve's swimming yeah. towards you, ain't he? But again, that one swam towards me before. And he went like an absolute train when he's seen the boat. 
<laughs> Big time. It's like diving like how? These are all right. Ah, another fisher. What's that? Uh, 10 or 11 now. <laughs> There's another one. You want the big dark like back one. ones. That's that. perfect. How many I'll miss? There's a lot of small fish in here though. You get the odd one like that though. I reckon, yeah. I don't know, it's there all the time, just constantly. Can't be when they, hit, when they hit the lure though, it's just bang. You're literally reeling in it. It just feels in again. <laughs> oh. The old candy king. Oh, you can't be. Yeah, we're in. Oh, it's got hit then. <laughs> this is Fighting, quality. Look. Nice fish. He's all right, guys. Not a fish. Oh, I can't believe he missed that one. There's another one, guys. Got absolutely hammering them. Fish behind us as well. Sound like a big fish out behind us. You get a cast in that side. You just don't know where to cast. There's just fish every <laughs> bloody where. It's like that 52 foot loads of bait fish underneath us. Yeah, you guys can't beat there. Absolute quality. I have to change my drag then because I've yeah. got no. uh, Not a breath of windy uh, either. See, quality. Neil's in yet again. He's actually, what's that, 13? Yeah. I'll be casting about that side, I think. I think I'll do the dodge. Oh, they still, they just swim with you. I must take your head off then. <laughs> Neil's in again. Yes. A small fish, but you can't beat it, that's just good fun. Good sport. Can't be a hard one missed there, there. In the water. Awesome. Look at that guys. Little trains there. Eh? They go for they go forever. Nice condition the fish are in. They it? are, yeah. Just nice to see the fish actually coming in now. Unlucky for some, but number 13. Not unlucky for us. Absolutely slaying them. It's on fire. Half past seven in the morning, we've had, what, 30 yeah. bass, six pound pollock, and a good uh, number of mackerel. <laughs> Neil's in again, oh, I just got hit. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, I'm getting tapped out all the time. Come on. We're in a patch from here, I think. Didn't want to take it there, lads. That's a better one. That was weird. He banged me twice and didn't want to take Weird. Put him in the front, that one, because he might be one of yours. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. He was there. Bang, bang. Hit me two or three times. Didn't want to take it. 17. Beautiful. Still all right. Our last contender for smallest of the day, smallest I reckon. Smallest of the day. <laughs> uh, still a last time. Oh, oh, there's a bass following the lure again. Fish. So another one, 18 or 19, lost and losing count. That's a nice, uh, that's more like a sandy colour one, that one. Yeah. Just like Sutton's had a go at him as well in the past. Oh, we're in. Yeah. That took me out the boat, it's small. But... <laughs> uh... Oh, stop my god. Move up a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Might find a bigger one. I mean, he's nailed that there. That's crazy, there's macro, bass, all sorts. Fishing over there. He's turned up. Got a mackerel. Huh? Come on, mackerel. Fish on. On this little rod, that's awesome. It's nothing big, it's because the rod's bloody uh, lightweight. It's only like a 25 gram rod. 
no fight though. It's got a, oh, it's definitely Pollock. Yeah, I think it's Carlo. That's nice, you get a few of these though, so it'd be nice. It'd be nice for the bass, the Pollock. That's all right. There you go. Sort of. There soon. Nice, we get a couple more like that, you sound. Can't beat a uh, nice polish. Bit of batter. They're awesome. That's through there as well. They fight nice and hard as well. Yeah. Give you a fight all the way up. Oh my, this is a big fish. <laughs> this is a nice fish for sure. Definitely. That's halfway up. Definitely a pollock. Pollock or bass would be nice. That's a rock. We bang on the feathers off. That's a large fish, I reckon. Well, again, you can't go swimming up with you now. Well, I'd be a bass. Yeah, it is a class. <laughs> they went like a tree off his one with him, that boy he went. Uh... Wow, yeah. I'll get him off then, buddy. Mash root? Yeah, mash root. Wow, full house, I reckon. He was bowed. God, is that mackerel, Pollock? Oh, it's mackerel, I think. Oh, nice, look at that. Wow, ah, full house. Absolute full house. Well done, chap. Look. Wow, this rod, they go pretty well. Look at me. The rod was like a banana. Yeah, I should bring the other rod, really. Oh. <laughs> That's weird, I lost my weight. That's strange. Oh, just the weight. I must have got hooked, I reckon, as you yeah. went over. That's a nice one. Starting to get a patchy again. They were like that last time, eh? And all of a sudden yeah. it went crazy. Oh, look, the seagulls are back. Ah, I should be over there bassing again. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're playing around games. Wow, wow, wow. That's where they are. You don't really see them. Done it for dinner. Only this one for oh. the Jason had a good idea. Are you wrapping the old uh, weed around it? Let's get rid of the weed on the top. Yeah. As it comes off on the pulley. That's a good idea, that. Yeah. Anyone's got water. They're pretty clean your ropes anyway, to be honest. They're not bad. The old depth gauge thing, eh? We're a bit
reckon, uh, I reckon someone's been here. More than likely. No. It's an easy place, eh? Hey? Someone's just come pull yeah. the pot. Yeah, someone's been in here for sure. Copper lady crab and a couple of spiders. Yeah. Yeah, straight yeah. Definitely been, someone's been here. Never mind. Oh, right, next time. The other one's done alright. Mm. Twenty-one bass went on the braze and that. Yeah, he couldn't have gone far out with the fork. Might have been. He said he was tired. Yeah, I suppose it's flat calm as well. He'd have probably been alright. Yeah, that's nice. Last, last, last. Yeah, that's similar to what Seeger had. Must be so stable. Yeah, we're all ready. Yeah, everything. So it's going to be a good old clean. Yeah, if you take what you want, maximize your back. Yeah, yeah. That feels like we've been at uh, longer. We've been at what? Uh, five hours. Five hours, yeah. That's the best thing to do if you scale them. Only at least the meat tenderizes better as well, like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you left all the bloody scales everywhere. It's a nice back way. Right? Happy days. Just falls off. Yeah, exactly. What half hour of ten? Had all those bass, crack and polish, load of mackerel. Had those rockies, had that cuffy rack as well. Yeah, happy days. So that's the end of another video, guys. All finished, boats all cleaned. So yeah, just got home now and got nice and sunburnt. So yeah, been up since four o'clock. So it's been it was a great morning fishing. Really enjoyed it with Neil. A big thanks to him again. 21 bass, I think six pollock we had. We had rafts, cuckoo rafts. Uh, didn't even count any mackerel we had. We had a good few, so good feed and that. So I kept a uh, three bass in the end. One from Neil, two from me. So yeah, it was really uh, good. Definitely can't wait to get out of there again. So yeah, if you get it, yeah, like button guys, subscribe and share on our Instagram, um, on YouTube, if you share on YouTube, to really get the uh, channel out there on twitter as well just to put out there the quicker we get to 300 subs the better as they're starting to take our track now the fishing's starting to get good so there's gonna be plenty plenty more videos to come so yeah let's see how fishing goes eh and we'll catch you on the next one